ドンボンボンボンボンボーボーボーボーボーサー It's your homeboy phone, get it first, and I am back to finish where I have left off. So, yeah. Here's the funny thing, guys. You know how when you record things, um, your voice sounds totally different? So, I had to listen to the chapter that I read、uh, where I left off at, and God, I couldn't stop laughing at myself. <laughs> um, do I really sound that bad? Am I really that bad, guys? I'm. I'm sorry. <laughs> um. Also, don't judge me if my voice acting skills with girls are terrible, okay? Um, yeah. Now that I get a closer re- look of what, how I sound when I'm finished recording, I sound like a total different person. Why no one tell me this? <laughs> yeah, so. I might be a little embarrassed right now to even finish reading this. Eh, screw it. It's good. So, anyway, on the bright side, though, I got 20 subscribers now. Yes, boys, I have reached 20 subscribers. Also, since it's December and, um, holidays are coming up shortly, I was thinking on doing a, re- a holiday reaction or. Read through of a holiday fic, short fic, or a holiday、um, review of of a new Milo Pony season zero、um, hearts warming thing or something, something like that. So leave a comment down below and vote for which one should I do. Whichever get the most votes, get I'll do. All right. So without further ado. Let us finish reading My Little Pony Human f i r s t Magic Chapter 27 Yaman Shizan. I probably shouldn't do that. It's like, is that trademarking? Because there's this guy called、um, Dashy Games. Funny ass dude, by the way. Funny as hell. <gasps> I kind of like him a bit, but. I'm not doing video games and I don't have the equipment to even do any of that, let alone the, you know, the moolah as well. So, yeah. Anyway, without further ado, let's just get this read on. Get our reading on. Damn, I screwed up. <laughs> don't laugh. Okay, guys, so let me see. By the way, with the earlier comment I made, um. If I really sound that bad. Maybe I need to work on some stuff or something. Because, come on, I'm literally just recording this on my laptop. I'm putting a piece of paper in front of the cam- lens camera. And I really I, I don't even have any artwork for it, for like doing it, let alone the experience yet. So,、uh, you get what you can get. It's kind of annoying, though. I wish I was a little more high tech advanced, like a voice changer, so I can change my voice, make me sound like a changeling queen, or make me sound like a changeling if I ever do a changeling read through or something. And again, I don't think there's that many changeling fix, is there? I mean, sure, there's like three I'm listening to. There's a few that I've listened to, but they're all by one dude called, um. Ah, dang it, I forgot his name. Let me, let me look it up real quick. Give me a second. Do, 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 do. He's in here somewhere, guys. Give me a second. I got so many subscribers. I got so many.、Um, I'm subscribed to so many guys. I'm like, I can't even find the right guy. Most days. Oh, here he is. Here he is.、Uh, oh, Tone Shift. Oh, wait. That's his brownie, isn't it? It's Sky Jaramaze. Sky Jaramaze? I, I don't know. I don't know how, it's, how do you say it. But it's by a guy called Tone Shift. I'm just going to call him that. I really 
he told me how he did it, but I don't know the system he uses or anything. So I'm hoping I can like find like a audio, like a voice mixer to allow me to sound like that. Sure, I like need to practice with it a lot. The use the hang of it. But um, I'm really hoping I can get something like that and hook it up to my laptop and some speakers so I can hear myself and allow me to like change my voice and stuff. If you know where I can find something like that, including all the cords and stuff for my laptop, that would be awesome. Anyway, enough about that. Let's read. Uh, last time we left off, I'm afraid so my little ponies. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I don't know what goes on with me every time I do a read-through. I, like, belch, like, gnarly. I don't like it. Anyway, let's proceed. Uh, ponies. As you all witness above the main... Uh, this is Celestia, by the way. Witness above the man discord. Celestia speaks, but her voice breaks near the end. Yeah, we kind of knew about that. Yeah. By the way, totally called it! <laughs> I called it, I called it, I called it! No, 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 <laughs> I mean, come on, guys. From the beginning. Obviously, um, okay, I may have read, like, a bunch of books and manga about this, but come on. You think the head man is also powerful, but all of a sudden, when the head man's about giving his big speech and about get total power, blah blah blah, next thing you know, the little the little henchman goes ahead, grabs a knife, and stabs him in the back. I mean, come on, it's basic villain 101. I mean, I I totally called it at the beginning when the man released Discord. I mean, why would he do that? If the man has that much power. Zen, Zen, I put one of them together. I mean, oh, come on! It was basic! Everyone probably already knew about it. It's just the facts, guys. Face the facts. Although, it was so good that I totally called it. <laughs> I'm so happy about that. I'm so happy, man. I'm so happy, man. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um... Fair warning, I have no idea which girl is going to have a chill running down my spine. Why do I have a chill running my- <laughs> Um, guys, I got a little bit of a problem. Okay, you all remember that reviewing of Queen Crystalis on an earlier chapter, right? Um. Uh, yeah, about that portal thing, um. I think you can already figure out what happens now. Ladies and gentlemen, Queen Crystalis at the new Changeling Hive! Yay! Um... I just wanna know where the hell are you? Hmm? I was like... Oh, this was a perfect time for her to get to the library. <laughs> Sometimes little girls are unreliable. You know what I'm saying? Hmm... Apparently you're... So-called barrier bubble doesn't work quite well. Well, no shit, Sherlock. I really need to freshen up on that barrier stuff. So this stuff doesn't keep happening. Well, Queen Chrysalis, what do you want now? Simple. I started to like your read throughs and I meant you mentioned a fanfic er, that you're writing earlier oh, oh well yeah but wait you're a fan of my work mm, more or less a secret admirer of your work really hmm is it just me guys or do I have something in my ear cuz I think the chain 
Zeke Green Christmas is giving me praise? Well, this is interesting. Um, you're not gonna, I don't know, try to suck the love out of me or anything like that. Mm, if I did that, then you would pass out by now, wouldn't you? <gasps> True, but then again, if I remember correctly. You changed these can really stand human love, if I remember correctly. Says you. My channel, my magic. <laughs> well, if I remember correctly, humans really can't survive in our world. And neither can you. Not like you are right now. Uh, get it a few minutes in three, two, wait, why are you counting? One. <laughs> Black smoke. <laughs> Hi, Pot. This is cattle overcooking. <laughs> oh, God, that's smoky. Huh? Hmm. Roll size bugs, not bad. For a half buggy like pony thing. My God, my damn, not bad. Ow! What the hell was that for? Hmm. Better yet, I'm surprised you can even use your arms. Hmm. Well, I sort of. You had an incident before. More or less. Hey, Pa, it's me, Kettle again. Nice to meet ya. <laughs> hmm. Enough of your bickering. Get to the reading. Oh yeah, thanks for reminding me. Are those guys going to stay there, or are they- They were just escorts. Leave. <gasps> I'm surprised you're handling your fear of me well. Meh. Um... You're not the weirdest thing that's came out of that portal lately. Really? How so? Main Six. Dragon. Goodaloo. Princess Celestia. Luna. It's kind of not new to me. And then you popped out. Sure, it gave me a little bit of a heart attack earlier, but... Meh. So you're not fear of me? Well, considering how many times the girls actually whooped your hide... Mm, no, not really. You had to bring out the bad memories, didn't you? Now who's calling the pot black? <gasps> Touche! But then again, you're nothing but black. <laughs> I just did the racist thing. I'm sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. <laughs> anyway, let's just get to the reading. Yes, please. Okay, near the end. General Spirit and Twilight Sparkle walked over and comfor comfort her. All of them saw Discord being killed brutally by M. Even after all Discord had done, he didn't truly deserve death. Celestia and Luna and their ponies are far above that. Even so, if lives are in danger, then one must protect their lives and others to the better, best abilities. Uh, okay, so that's... I never wanted Discord to die, even if he wanted, meant for me, me, my, my sister, and you all. But, she said Celestia. But? Yes, what is this but they speak of? Hmm. Dialogue, really? What? Noble dialogue. Wow. You think a, a bug as old as her would learn how to speak normal, plain, modern time language, you know? <laughs> Ow! What was that for? And I'm surprised you can even hit if you can't even stand on your legs. Shush you. 
What are you doing? Bye! Magical mathematics! Baby Brian. Eh, Twilight forced me to. Mm, that explains things. Obviously. Well, anyway. Um, I probably should tell her a little bit later, though, that I found out. Tell me what? Uh, nothing. No, you were going to say something. No, no, I wasn't. I was just minding my own business. I want to waste your energy here. Not a lot of magic abilities here. Then how come you can use it? Uh, my world, my rules. Mm, touche, touche. <laughs> but what are you going to tell me? Just, oh, shush you. Anyway, fine, you win this one. Anyway, back to the read through. Uh, General Spirit, uh, ba 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 ba. Okay, try. Princess Celestia, please don't say any more. We can't change the past, but we can save the, our future. Not that you, why, not if you're going to keep standing there all day. If you guess you haven't noticed, the man's kind of close to the freaking energy ball that could destroy the world. So why are you here are you having a pep talk right here and now? <sighs> you're kind of over dramatic, you know? I say again, hi pot, meet kettle. I am not over dramatic. Someone woke up on the wrong side of the hive. <laughs> okay, okay, chill out, chill out. Huh. By the way, my Queen Christopher voice is not very good. Sorry guys. I want to do the insect thing that they do in, like, the show and, like, fanfics I've been listening to. God, that's so cool. I want to do that so bad. But, unfortunately, I don't have the quite amount of system for that yet. Sorry. Uh, which, are, which our present is at risk from the man above it is, says Twilight, pointing upwards. Thank you, someone! Luna walked closely while staring up. You're quite right, Twilight Sparkle. He's gathering the energy from what those machines produced. Equestria, natural source of life and magic. All gathered in a massive ball of power. Em is very slowly draining that power and we must stop him. That was the saying! You are dramatic, but... I agree! Mm. Wait, 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 you agree with me? Maybe. But... You're a bad guy. So? Just because I'm a bad guy doesn't mean I don't like some stories as well where the bad guy gets beat. But... You get beat. Multiple times, really. Oh yeah? Name a few. Okay. Let's see. The candle on wedding. Uh when you your hive got taken by Thorax. Uh when you try to take the element of harmony tree power by copying them. Wait, how do you know that? You're a TV show. You should know this by now. Sometimes these otherworldly people give me a sly little headache, you know, guys? <laughs> anyway, let's proceed. Uh, 
Luna walk closer. My dear. Maria would actually blow steam out of her nostrils, wanting this battle to be over quickly. I'll fly up there and stop him with one quick swoop of my sonic rain boom. Mm, really? You do realize with the power he's absorbed, he can move twice faster than you do? I think. I don't know. I don't know how this magic stuff works. It's a bunch of hum magic humbo jumbo. And yet you're using it. Shush you. Rarity touches her chest in distress, but Spike comforts her by stroking, 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 uh, for like, stroking, stroking. Uh. Oh wait, one, two, skipped a few. Whoopsies. Why do you do that? Cause it's funny. Uh, now you got me in my voice snagger voice again. Uh, <laughs> Are you, are you an idiot? The man will most likely detect you, detect you way before you even get the chance to attack. Now that he's gathering energy, Emma is stronger than even ever before. Spirit shouts. Ah, oh, damn it! He shouts again. Man, Twilight was right. I really need to look ahead sometimes. Mm, I think it was just fine. Hold on, let me go, let me buy a bigger microphone real quick so I can do that. Sure, you have to wait two days, but you gotta repeat it anyway. What? what? No, I because I swore. I think I just heard her just compliment me, guys. She's a compliment on me. Who are you? What are you done with the real chrysalis? Not that I don't mind with uh, about the chrysalis I hear. Do you know she's scary when she stares at you with those death eyes? It's like giant swords skewering your soul. I don't like it. <laughs> Rainbow Dash blows steam out of her nostrils, wanting this battle to be over quickly. Uh, oh wait, already done that. Uh, Rarity touches her chest, her chest in stress, but Spike comforts her by stroking her, stroking a foreleg. Yeah, he did put two strokings by accident, so that, or he was going to add something else, I don't know. Anyway, stroking a foreleg. But there has to be some way of getting up there. Maybe striking a quick blow before Adam can re release what's going on. That could work. Everyone looked at Rarity and thought, staring up here, appreciate the idea. But the predicament of M's possibly changed senses if General Spirit didn't accept the Sonic Rain Boom. Then what else could they do? Shadow Breeze felt so drained to use any of his abilities seriously what the hell is his ability i'm like so confused here what is his ability does he like go all like a venomy thing or something i don't know there's like like in one part there's just a shadow tendril coming out of him what's his ability what's his past what the hell are you not telling me shinoi jumpy <laughs> He's driving me a little crazy some of them, so not jump by. Pardon my accent. <clears throat> that was quite the... Um... Outburst? Yes. <laughs> uh... Shit, I lost my spot. Hold on, guys. But even if he was able to, it wasn't nearly as good as Rainbow Dash's idea. Princess Celestia perked her head up, having the, an idea. Wait, maybe... Yes. Wait, maybe... Yes, what? 
I have an idea, my little ponies. It's a very risky. Uh, <clears throat> plus dragon and hu plus dragon and human and company, please. <laughs> it's a very risky move, but I need every pony's approval of this. I say again, dragon and po human a company. Pinkie Pie jumped around, happy to hear the princess has an idea of ending all of the sadness and fighting. Tell us, tell us! I, I ain't afraid of no quack. Quack? Hmm? No quack. Really? I must admit that line's kind of... It's Pinkie Pie. If you know Pinkie Pie, don't question it. Interesting. Yes, interesting. Yep. Anyway. Spike's face. Spike's face palms and groans. There hasn't been a quack for a long time, Pinkie Pie. But I'll... But it'll arrive soon. What quack are you talking about? Quack. <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't hold it in. <laughs> Did you really make a deck sound? Yes! My channel! My reels! I can do whatever sound effects I want to! Put on the British accents, lads! <clears throat> Excuse me. Anyway. Hmm, not a bad accent. And this is coming from the thing I can change into anything. And sound like anything. Mm-hmm. Kind of ironic, isn't it? Getting praise from something that's, you know, a changeling for crying out loud, let alone the queen of it. <laughs> like I told you, I wouldn't waste your magic on me. How so? Mm. Do you really want to get turned into a shriveled into a shriveled raisin that fast? Is that bad? Actually, plan has been using it, and she's fine. Sure, she gets a little tired, but... <laughs> Why did I reveal that secret? Oh, that smarts! Oh, hmm. Kind of like your witty remarks. Hi, Pot. I think you already met Kettle. Oh, pfft. <laughs> okay. Let's get back. <laughs> uh, every pony stares at Pinkie Pie, but especially Spike looks of horror. That this little gem dragon slowly starting to become a re referencing rainbow. S strange, but f fun being. Referencing r random, strange, but fun being. Okay. <laughs> to become a. To be become a reference. To be. Okay, I'm lost here. To be referencing random strange but funny being. Rarity is interested to see what this will go in their hopefully future if they survive this. <laughs> here's, a nice, here's a little thing for ya. Because it's a fanfic and all, and I'll de level with it with Spike and Rarity. Spike and Rarity sitting in the tree. K I S S I Ow! What was that it for? For being annoying. <laughs> and this is coming from the biggest pest of all. <laughs> oh! Seriously, I'm surprised you can even use your arms. Don't judge me. <laughs> you miss. <laughs> oh! Oh, my stars! Oh! Hmm. You forget, I can change into beings that wield arms. <gasps> she actually has a point. Hello, hands. Well, technically, they're not really... Tal... Hand. Well, yeah, they are hands in my world, but you've been wielding talons, if I recall. 
Mm. Fair enough. Still the same thing. It is not the same thing. Sure, you got fingers and all, but I'm sure you got like fingers and stuff, but my skin and uh, a little hairy. <laughs> and do you see any claws on here? What are those on the end of your fingers then? Fingernails. What do dragons have? Talons? Claws? Entirely different concept here. My biology and theirs is a little more different. Hmm. This I must look into. Hmm. Go to library, all I care about. Hmm. Hmm. Yourself. Let's see. Princess Celestia clears her throat for attention, which she receives one once more. Moving that aside. My plan is very risky, as Princess said, as, as if you have any questions, as if you have any questions or concerns, please let me know after. If, if me, Twilight, Rarity, Spike, and my sister combine our magic together. We can teleport some pony above the man's position in the sky and strike him. Wait, 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 wait! You're gonna need help from these two. Rarity can only like use levitation magic. <laughs> sure, yeah, she has like a tendency of uh, blah, 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 with her horn, but uh, on occasions, really, but. Seriously? Um... You really going to have a pony who's up in five fashion, who can't even use a lot of magic like Twilight does, help with this alicorn mumbo-jumbo stuff? Okay. Why are you agreeing with this fic? With this part of the fic? Why? In case you haven't noticed, fics can go either way. They could be either very good, really bad, have a strange ending, have a strange beginning, and so on and so forth. But your fic is about between a war with, our, with the ponies and being able to stop it all. Well, not me, my character. Oh, wait, how you know that? Uh, have you been sneaking in here and reading my stuff? Well, I, uh... Maybe. Okay, yes. I'll talk to you later. Anyway. <laughs> Combine our magic together, we can teleport some pony above a man's position in the sky and strike him. Spirit considers this, but has some op optimism. But my magic isn't as strong as rarities. You're a freaking general. How is your magic not as strong as rarities? Rarity can only, like, lift a sewing needle. And like a mannequin and some other stuff. How is your magic not as strong as rarities? You're a freaking general. Shouldn't you? Oh, I don't know. Been training like this? In like battles before. How is it not strong as a unicorn who doesn't even like to stand the touch of dirt on our hooves? I quite agree with you. Huh? Alrighty then. Uh, however, I can try and give whatever I got. And about the plan. 
it is a good idea if the teleportation is instead enough that M doesn't get a chance to see whoever it's coming. Oh, excuse me. Dwyer rubs her chin, thinking she is able to give it her all as well, but in concern, who is going to go up the there? Princess Celestia, who is going to strike him? Oh, wait, that was Celestia. Princess Twilight, who is going to strike him? The Princess of the Sun shifts uncomfortably. Maybe we're getting previous, previous thoughts. I highly suggest Joseph Brooklyn. <laughs> Come again? Iron gaps the spirit and Joseph all trying to protect their that their friends should go since it is too much of a risk and can't bear seeing Joe is in danger of falling, failing, being hurt more, but Celestia raises a hoof to let her continue. Please let me explain. Joseph is selected because of his unique strength and best chance of defeating M. Thanks to his training, I in in Zenther. I'm hopefully I'm saying that right. <laughs> it's been a while since I heard that saw that word. And spirit, deep down, I can sense Joseph has the willpower and strength to in order for M to be beaten, but. It is also because the man and Joseph are connected in some way. The past and the present. Huh? What's she talking about? Yes, what is she talking about? Mm -hmm. Let's read and find out. <gasps> Everything that has happened and what ha had happened to Joseph is a personal matter in my belief. That's it? Joe looks down at his feet. Yes, she is right. This is between me and the man. I am the cause of all this happening. War, pain, death, even if they tell me otherwise. It's the truth, but I'm not going to run away anymore, he thought. Wait, 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 that was it? Her explanation of how- That's it? That's just sad. How did she rule a question for a thousand years and end up with that answer? End up with that explanation? She ruled a question for a thousand years and that's the best she could come up with? Um, that doesn't really make any freaking like sense! You're right. For a cool princess who's been ruling for a thousand years, that has got to be the stupidest thing I ever heard. Oh no, Roy. The human boy walked forward towards the, his princess and mother. What? Oh yeah, never mind. Wait, what am I missing? If you're a fan, you should know. Huh? Oh, never mind. Now I know. Mommy issues back in the other world. <laughs> and shows the and shows the mother to all the changelings in the hive. <laughs> Just the only mother that doesn't like her children that much. Excuse me? Nothing. She gives a sorrowful look, wondering if... If her words hurt Joe and understand the... Oh, wait, wait, what? Where am I reading at? Sorry, I lost. I got lost, my bad, hold on. Everyone sees the look on Joe's face, a familiar one, but this one is fierce. When standing in front of Celestia, she gives a sorrowful look, wondering if her words hurt Joe and understands. Understands the anger. Le le l e. I think I think that was supposed to be the the anger, but a look of surprise appears on her face when new son. When her new son's eyes, uh, facile feature, facial features, expression more so that every 
even before. This is pure commitment, courage, and filled with determination. DETERMINATION! Sorry, guys. Sorry. I... I don't know why I did that. I don't know why you read this. Excuse me! Uh, you are my friend, and you just comment that now? You're a fan of my work, that brand from the Chinese Ukraine who dislikes a lot of things. Just said that. What? No, I was talking about a fic that you're also another figure writing. What other figure? Turn that off right now! <laughs> no in my stuff. What's the monster under the bed? <laughs> Yes, I am previously writing another one, even though I haven't even finished the first chapter of the fact I'm previously was writing earlier. Yes, my fic is called Monster Under the Bed, based off of a web comic that I've read. It's so good, I decided to write a fic of it, of my own personal version. Sorry, I have to buy some, co borrow some content from it, but. I'm writing it for fun. I'm not allowed to post to like publish it or anything like that. Then again, I have to ask him if I can put it on fanfic.net, really, or something like that. But I think it's technically publishing, maybe. I don't know, guys. Okay, I've only like written some of it, and plus I read like did a link on it as well. The, I don't know why. It's just me, okay? Arthur stuff. Anyway. Uh, Joe looks down at his feet. Uh, yeah, da, da. Joseph Brooklyn stands tall and firm like never before. Princess Celestia. Princess Celestia? Accept your plan and wish to, s to part. To part off of this. I understand the man has clear goals because of me and Kirk. I also wish to make up for my crime, e even if it is takes my lifetime. I will not fail you all. That's a noble heart right there. I guess that power, I guess her energy blast sort of caught up with her finally. Thank God. She's out like a log. She's out like a light. Holy hell, that must have been some blast. <laughs> what? She doesn't need to know that I bubbled her. <laughs> anyway. God, why do I sound like Steven Universe? Joseph Brooklyn stands tall and firm. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah. Twilight, Pinkie Pie, Rarity, Applejack, Rainbow Dash, Fluttershy, Spike, Shadow, and Luna. <gasps> <sighs> I'll go up to their human friend and give a massive group hug with some kisses from the girls. Oh, squish! They hold tightly onto him, not wanting Joe to go, but they can't stop him. Joseph Brooklyn's Brooklyn. Joseph Brooklyn. Oh yeah, sorry, no one likes that. Joseph Brooklyn. Joseph Brooklyn of Earth, America, New York City. You have grown so much, and I am so proud of you. Please promise us all that you'll come back. Oh, wait, that was Twilight? Dang, Twilight, I screwed it up. Right, whatever. Twilight said with a sad smile. Whoa! Rainbow Dash sniffs, but holds a fake, angry look. Yeah, if you die, if you die I'm going to make you train until you drop. So come back. Uh, how is he how is he supposed to train when he's dead? I call fools. Mm. Rarity wipes a small tear away and smiles supportively. You go and make us proud, Joseph, like you always did. Oh. Big Bite starts crying, a fountain of tears. 
Sorry. <laughs> uh, uh, I've been watching TF2 videos lately. Right? <laughs> Eyes heavy weapon guy. <laughs> anyway. Of tears, literally, but also nuzzling his neck. Oh, please come back, safe and sound. I'll throw you the biggest party in, in most... And most awesome history ever! Think of the kids! <laughs> huh? Joseph smiles slightly and hugs her, but he blushes with a confused look. Wait, what kid? What? What? What kids? Yeah, what kids you talking about? Uh, Pinky's stuck in her fantasy world again. <laughs> Fluttershy smiles sweetly and more confident than ever before. Not only he changed but Fluttershy has opened up slowly but surely both almost growing up together Joe please come back safe and sound the animals and I can't bear to see you go what go we'll always be here for you Fluttershy is too adorable that's just a fact okay Another question for you guys. Who's your favorite, um, pony in My Little Pony? And who is the cutest one you think is in your personal opinion? Write your comment down in the comment section down below. Z Thank you. Okay, well, let's see. Applejack smiles widely and trips her hat, sta staring into the boy's eyes thoughtfully. I reckon you have a big... Bit false, Shoot Cube. Oh, Cube. For Queen of the Changeling Hive, she sure knows how to snore. Jeez. But don't you worry. We'll all catch ya. Just remember, we got lots of, of tomorrow morning. So, uh... Wanna bring him? Wanna... So, I want you bright and early. Hear me, Sugar Cube? She instructed, then hugs him tightly. Joseph and AJ sitting in the tree. K I S S I N G. <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't help it. <laughs> but then you can not hear that. Anyway, don't worry, Joe. Uh, wait. Don't worry, Joe. We're here to ensure you won't fall like Applejack said. Oh, wait. Oh, it's Shadow Breeze. Think, Flabbit! Don't worry, Joe. We're here to ensure you won't fall like Applejack said. You'll do it fine. You'll do it fine, says Shadow Breeze. Giving a weak smile from from still being tired. Oof. How much juice did he use on that griffin? Luna rolled her eyes and shakes her head. He's only going to be teleported into the air and striking M. I'm sure we can count M contain M when he falls down falls done also. Oh okay. She says with a bright smile. How is she smiling at this? It's do or die, people! Do or die! There's no smiling about this! She's one handle of a sleeper. Spike the gym dragon folds his arms with a mock serious look. I ain't gonna catch you without crushing myself. Makes sense. Joseph chuckles and hugs Spike. Don't worry, I'm gonna give make my punch count. Don't worry, I'm going to make my punch count. Okay. Sorry, he put give there. That's like threw me off. Princess Celestia walked over and nuzzles the boy's face, having a small smile appre appre appreciating what he's doing. Thank you, my son. I'll catch you, I promise. With what? You can barely use magic. You can barely stand. I think you can barely even fly.
You gonna catch him? I, I'm pretty sure Dad, that Luna's gonna catch him too. You both took one hell of a beating. Why? Uh, I'm just gonna move along. Princess Celestia walks over and nuzzles the boy's face, having a small smile appearing what he's doing. Thank you, my son. Oh, wait. Okay. The human blushes slightly and gives a final look to... Oh, blushes slightly. Sorry, I keep forgetting my blushes. It's like been a while since they've done the blush stuff, alright? Slightly and gives a final look to Spirit, who is getting stars from every pony and grunts at this. What? I'm not kissing you. Get ready, boy. We're teleporting you. Everyone in position. Wow. Good pep talk. General Sreya, Luna, Celestia, Twilight, and Rarity <gasps> circle around Joe and start starts glowing their horns with the large stallion having some trouble sta staring his horn. Starting his horn. It's a sign, guys. He's gone old. <laughs> The human breathes deeply in and slowly exhausts, exhales out. He clenches his right fist in order to build a, in strength. A feeling of fire burns deep within Joe's body, as if a rocket is about to burst. Suddenly, he feels his body starting to, to being pulled away, just like before. His feeling is calmer, gentle. Giving a quick glance at his friends, Joe nods, I'm ready. Joseph builds as much energy into a single punch screaming from the top of his lungs until he is teleported away from the man's position, appearing right above M. Joe sees he, sees he is about to draw all the energy from his, from his ball of power. The human must act. As he falls down towards the man, he raises his fist and arms for M's head. <laughs> Joe screams. The man snaps his head up, wondering what could possibly be here near him without his senses. To his horror and surprise, Joseph Brooklyn, with a serious expression in mere inches away. Wait, what? No! <laughs> Joe yells out and sends his fist down, strikes the man's face, face mask, striking directly almost Every pony could hear the smashing sound, like breaking a tree in a single blow. <laughs> Every pony down below gasped loudly. It it worked. Joseph Brooklyn has was able to deliver a strike a striking blow. They all cheered. Yes, yes! The girls and Spike shouted. Yes, 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 me! But why do I think that's going to take more than just that? However, as M is falling backwards from the human's attack, he accidentally splits the energy in half so that it surrounds the man and Joe. Both of them feel the incredible power. Wait, what? Joe gets a power boost! Who, who, who? Ooh, wait, but uh, the man kind of has more experience with this stuff. Shit. Mm, thoughts of being able to achieve any goal they desire, but M was able to receive recover from Joseph's attack and growls loudly, clearing away. No, falling backwards, around and Joe, both of them feeling incredible powers, so pure, and giving them thoughts of being able to achieve any goal that desire. Okay, and glows loudly, clearly are inner enraged of what his just happened you little piece of crap i'm gonna tear you from limb to limb he yells grabbing one more dark crystal to teleport joe and himself away just as princess celestia was going to catch her son the man teleported them away her eyes widened with pure dread once again they all lost an important friend N no Twice Sparkle and the others can't believe this as well. It went so well. They must have both drawn the energy into each other by accident. No, Princess Celestia. Princess Celestia, Luna, Spirit, what just happened? Please tell us! 
General Spirit starts at the sky, this time in awe of what happened. I saw two. Both of them suddenly got half of the energy. What's worse, M teleported them away from somewhere, and I have no idea where they are. I can't sense them. Sense them? What are you, Spider-Man? <laughs> Rainbow Dash stomps her hoof angrily. We have to go find him! <clears throat> Sorry, I haven't done Rainbow Dash for a while now. Spirit gives her a glare. No, we have to let this go on. It's between them now. Besides, we have to clear up the remaining forces of Discord's army. Once we secure the prisoners and secure our homes, then we can carry out can carry out a search for Joe. I don't want anyone here to even try and find him. Otherwise, I'll lock you all up myself. Think of the lives of others first. That's what Joe wants. Okay. The man, the main six, Bike and Shadow, reluctantly nod down brightly, their lips staring at the sky one more time. Joe, come back safe, they whispered. <clears throat> Meanwhile, outside of the question, I didn't know no location. A dreadful screaming of the open air being torn open by a black portal appears, dropping out two life forms, one being a human boy and the other a demigod being smacked into the earth. They lay on the ground for a few moments to get the sense of this astonishing power flowing through. Whoa, this feeling is absolutely spectacular. I feel like jumping over buildings within a single leap. Who are you, Superman? One faster than a wind without a gasp of air and stronger than even before. I say again, who are, who do you think you are, Superman? The man, the man, he's lying down there. Must be feeling this too. Joe thinks Lolly's standing up. Oof. God, I'm surprised he's standing at all after the impact that, uh, that he did. Whew. If I got an impact like that, I, oh, God, my body hurts. Oh, give me a few minutes. Oh. I'm surprised she's still sleeping through this. The man also stands up and slowly touches his mask, rubbing it slightly. You managed to crack... You managed to crack my mask. And give me a slight headache from that punch. I'll admit, you gave it your all, Joe. He says roguely, turning around with an obvious crack in the middle of the guy's... Focus mask? Focka mask? I don't know. Joe feels M's death stare. He tries to go ahead and but falls to one knee. What? M also falls in his knee, shivering slightly and breathing slowly and deeply. <laughs> you're feeling it too, since you're punched my face. You crack this energy to split apart. Now it's in both of us. You damn filthy ape. I waited so long to find the best and correct punch planet in order to gain enough energy co to compose my own goals now you ruined it and I, and I swear human I will make you scream and laugh while I'm at it M roar shaking the ground beneath him why is he saying he <gasps> is he a monster the human male opens his arms out drawing and inviting the man in in the silver suit then come at me, he shouts. The man breathes more, trying to move, but struggles, feeling his body seizing up. Ugh, this is a side effect. Our bodies need to adjust to the spirit split when it was supposed to be whole. You want me to thank you for sharing that with me? If so, you're badly mistaken, M. Everything you've done is to everyone damages pain and suffering even death 
They had nothing to do with all this, and yet you used me and Kirk as an excuse to harm them. You're going to pay for this, Joe shouts, feeling the rage boil. Dang it, he- There was always a lot of shouting. And takes a few moments to digest what he said and slowly being laughed. Oh, Kirk, that brings so many painful memories from me. They think y you call human. I brought me and you here for a reason, Joe. He yells, gesturing to the air location. God damn it, he yelled again. They're on a tiny grassy island in the middle of the ocean. The size of this is almost twice the size of an average back garden. When Joe looked around, out in the far distance, he quit squinting his eyes. They appear to be land. It looks like Equestria, but the fight must be gone on before he can return. Joseph looked back and still feels his body seizing up since they're talking. He wants more information. Tell me, Em, why do you, why do this? Trying to become some god so you can't terrorize innocent people? Joe asked almost spitfully. The man looked up in to the sky, grunting, because of Kirk, he killed my sister. <laughs> whoa, 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 time out! Me, 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 me. So who the hell saw my sister? My sister! Wait, <gasps> was it that witch? This is a vengeance story. <gasps> Now I know what the happens next. Joe's face falls in in disbelief, not knowing if he could believe that your sister. Wait, the witch? That was your sister? But she was terrorizing Question and causing harm. You're you're supporting that? Shut your damn mouth! She had her reasons and bit back about to explain something. Many many years ago, deep in. Sp Space, space, space. Wait, in space? Why is this happening in space? A younger Am was sitting around in open space, stared at the many infinite stars that are all over space. He allowed, he always loved exploring every sector possible, learned the new cultures on planets and how space works itself. I wonder what my sister is doing now, he spoke to himself. A soft pair of hands covered his eyes, which, which surprised him. A soft chuckle reminded him who it was. The young M touched the hands and smiled. Big sis! M looked back, seeing his older sister was wearing an amazing white dress that reached to her feet and long white gloves on her arms. Her hair was long and blonde, and eyes were green, tall and slender. She was known as the Goddess of Joy. Little brother, what are you doing out here? I have to see the others for an important meeting, Joy said softly, stroking his hair gently. The young M smiles more and was lifted into her arms. He felt her floating towards three men all around medical tables that's crystal clear. They all looked to see Joy and her little brother. One of them smiled and opened his arms widely. Hail, goddess of joy, and young brother, we, goddess of joy, hmm, well, uh, don't tell me it's one of them god, godly battles revenge things, ugh, god, I get a headache just by finding out what happens in Bleach sometimes, oh, let alone the ending of Naruto series, ugh, that gives me a headache, godly, God, does it always empty that I may end up with a godly battle and stuff? Throws my kind of little nuts. <laughs> Seriously, how is he sleeping? Oh yeah, bubble. <laughs> totally forgot about that. Now she didn't use that much power though. Mm, I guess she used tired though. Well, then again, the transformation didn't make them go out for quite some time. <laughs> eh, whatever. Peace was a deep. And younger brother, 
We are expecting you sooner, Joy. He smiles, but said it sarc sarcastically with a smile, though his teeth. Peace was a deeply praised and much respected god. Peace, stable, stability, and security are very important elements. This divine being was associated with and he's often considered to be active and protective. So like a foggy figure. Often depend, depicted as human with the body of a dragon. Peace is usually worshipped through chants and pledges. Huh? Joy bowed her head smiling slyly from the, that tone. Forgive me. I was searching for my little brother. We can start now. Go along over there. We won't be long. Little M smiled and hugged her. Her, he skipped away while, while Pace chuckled at her. Refueled the boy's hair. Always a lively one. Please sit. When Joy sat down with the others, she noticed their fake smiles. Something was going on. Uh, something was. Hello, my friends. May I ask what is the meaning of this meeting? She asked softly. One of them suddenly lost their smile immediately and pouted his lips. What for? We came to ask you about what we discussed last week, said a god called Wisdom. Oh, God. Wisdom was a deeply esteemed and much trusted god, since science, knowledge, and. Liter literature were the main elements. This might, mighty being was most most would reg regard him as pretty and objective, petty and objective. Often, despite as a wolf, unusual worshipped through offerings and alms. Is this a Greek mythology thing right now? Because I don't remember these gods right so ever. Is this like a made-up god thing? Or is it like like you're basing this off of Greek mythology? I'm confused. Joy sh shaked her head slightly. I'm sorry. It seems to have... To have forgot... I seem to have forgotten... Why the offering to be part of something even greater? This is another, well, god, if you like, that is giving an offer of a lifetime, said another god called Life. Life was a hugely admired and deeply regarded god. Homes, winter, and day were his specialty. Mm, really? A lot w work, a lot would have explained his at obnoxious but charismatic de depicted 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 as a moment sorry about that Ooh. humanoid hawk life was worshipped through gifts and alms sometimes but wasn't quite bothered but that is from another realm well away from this place we know nothing of what lies beyond our own realms why are we talking about this, my friends? Joy asked, wondering why they talked to the gods that had no nothing to do with their own realms. Peace's expression turned sour. He learned on the table while holding his hands together. Joy, this is the power we can use to fully defend and uphold what we established. Peace, life, wisdom, and joy. If we continue... On this path, like for many millennia, lesser beings will give up on us. Those, those prayers, altars, alms, gifts will for a long time appreciated for our efforts of keeping their beliefs around. With the new power of other gods are offering, we can assure our existence isn't f futile. Joy stood up, who felt anger swell inside. Uh, the universe creates them for the sole purpose of helping others without second thoughts. Yet her friends were feeling worthless. Oof. But who could 
blame them. If in joy knew that many lesser beings were f- or get full of them, of them in in their space. But this wasn't the way to go. Finding other ways of forcing others to believe without concern. What the hell is going on here? What is this offer the these gods promise? Asked Joe. Wisdom looked at his friends who nodded their heads. They all slowly stood up with eyes closed. Their bodies once glowed lightly of harmony and purity was com- becoming dense, dark. Oops. Sorry, my headset came off. When they opened their eyes for joy, all she could do was stare worryingly. N- no, no, my friends. What have you all done? Peace, life, and wisdom. Wisdom's bodies were now glowing in darkness. A harsh aura that is on any natural life were near could wither away in death or shiver violently. They turned to Joy, who was still grasping her senses of what whatever reality she ha- had. This power is evil. Dark be- bins and cure. And cruel. Dense and cruel. How could you all possibly accept this? This isn't going to help others about only cause death and dismay. Joy shouted. Oh, damn it! I'm sorry, guys. I'm like screwing up real bad. We thought you'd react to this way, Joy, which is a shame, really. We wanted to give this power to you as friends. However, you've proved diff- difficult, so we have no other choice. Peace bellowed rather angrily. Oof. All of a sudden, Joy started to get a horrid chill through her body. Like something moved inside, darkness was spreading. She saw an old clay urn opened in life's hand. Black smoke poured out and moved to joy. The goddess tried resisting the dark temptation, trying to poison her mind to get evil thoughts. Trying to get evil thoughts she would never have dreamed. Wisdom, life, and peace smiled wildly, witnessing this. Oof, God, it is that kind of story. Oh, God. But that soon changed when their friend actually resisted. She looked like a walking corpse, but her sanity maintained. This was surely impossible that three former friends of Joy thought maybe she needed more. Or maybe she needed an extra push. Peace chuckled darkly and peered Joy's little brother by his side, who was under some sort of trance, only making the goddess shriek loudly and burst with power so much much to scatter stars joy if you do don't do not follow our instructions then your little brother here will be a great subject to test on you clearly love him too too much correct life spoke motion for young m <gasps> oh, it's blackmail! His completely made Joy stop sharply, fearing for his safety of being one of them and or being hurt. She had no other choice but obey and accept whatever they desire, unless somehow she could find an opening. Y- yes, whatever you do, don't hurt him, Joy said venomously at the end. Oh, God, I'm screwing up. I'm sorry, guys. Peace grinned evilly and walked toward her, placed a strong hand on her shoulder. If you want to keep your brother safe, there is a planet, a land we thought could make a good target practice for your new abilities. The darkness will grow grow over time and you'll soon ap- appreciate it 
Like it or not, now go and destroy them, shouted Peace. Ah, damn it, shit. Joe, wow, this is just dark. Joe grinned. She, Joe grimaced. She didn't want this, but her brother meant more than her than anything. A tear dropped from her eye before leaving by floating across space. Peace was the land life. Stared at her, flying away to land Equestria. The trio looked at each other and laughed. My God, that part was wow. Oh, that's bad. That is just wow. I must agree. <laughs> When'd you wake up? Just after listening to that. Yeah, usually I sleep for a day or so. Whatever. Anyway. <sighs> Ugh, I can't read through my glasses. It's all dirty. Is that... Back in Equestria in an unknown location. Present time. Is that a good enough explanation for you, human? My sis... That explains the human part now. My sister wasn't some evil witch that wanted to kill you all. M shouted, clenching his fist. Joseph Brooklyn cannot remove his look of disbelief. Who would have thought that from Spirit's point of view of the witch? She wasn't evil to begin with. All she done was because of the man being in danger and the darkness inside and controlling her temptation. But when looking at the man and his reasoning in doing all this destruction, what makes him so different? How come you're causing all this destruction? She was going to lose you and was poisoned with darkness, so she didn't willingly do it. Yet you are. The man sighs loudly, shaking his head in disappointment. You don't you don't remember? Damn idiot Kirk and these filthy animals aided my sister's death. You and them deserve to die. Yikes. Yeah, yikes. And I thought you were bad, but this is really bad. I'll side with you on this one. Joe stood up slowly and seizing has finally stopped and now more powerful than he could possibly imagine. But same for M, to Both started getting used to their powers by now. Ups war by warm-ups, but still staring at each other. The man rotated his neck, cracking out joints. Oof! Was a satisfied sigh. This power won't be with us very long, Joe. But I swear I'll be more painful when the, the last time. He says, getting into a fighting position. Joseph Brooklyn watched closely at the stance and prepared his own form, own form training. This is it. They're fighting for their lives and the lives of many other people. Avenger versus Defender. Woo! Demigod against man. More power against a need for redemption. The end time will be decided. Okay, okay, we get it. Now start the battle, jeez. Show me what you got, Joseph Brooklyn. The man shouts, running towards Joe. The human frowns to frowns. He too charges to M in hopes of ending this once and for all. I won't lose to you, M. Joseph shouts back. To be continued. That was amazing. Mm, gotta admit, that was actually pretty cool. Yeah, I gotta admit, that was cool. And that was a pretty good ending as well. Good ending to a cliffhanger. Well, that is all for me. I must be leaving now. You took a little of my love, didn't you? Maybe. <laughs> right, I forgot to tell you this tiny little detail. What tiny little detail did you forget to tell me before shocking myself? Yeah, like I said, I forgot. <gasps> oh yeah, now I remember. Uh, you know that magical, magical, magical thing we talked about earlier? 
What about it? Yeah, here's the deal, yo. Um, you can't go back in. I can't. What? <sighs> well, um, neither can the girls. So, Tori's trying to figure out an easy way to get out, but right now I'm just reading this. You know this the whole time and you didn't tell me? You never asked. Then how come my subordinates came along? Yeah, that. The reason why they went in because they didn't look like that. Well, hooves, horn and stuff. Oh, but I had a section of hands. They had hooves and horns, but they're snout as well. So, yeah. That's why. Now you tell me this! <laughs> oops. Ah. Uh, oops. Hello, <laughs> guys. Call Crow needs to chill. Also, now that I think about it, I'm going to explain this to the girls. I'll let you all know until next time. Yeah, seriously though, that was a nutty ending. A nutty backstory, past story. That was an excellent villain past, past story, my friend. Very excellent. Props, big thumbs up. Also, speaking of the big thumbs up, ha ha ha. Push a link, click on the like button down below, and also you have another subscribe on the God, I'm, in, I'm terrible at this ending intro. Okay, click that big like button down below, and also while you add it, click that subscription and notification bell down there so you know when I'm redoing and uploading my next videos or other stuff. So and also, share this with, share my videos with your other fellow bronies and picket eye sisters so I may get some more subscribers. Ho, ho, ho. So, without further ado, that was the end of chapter 27 of My Little Pony Human Friendship is Magic. Will Joseph win? Will he be victorious? Will he finally meet the father for crying out loud? And find out what is Kirk's backstory. Until next time. This is your homeboy, Funky Luffy, of Siding Out.